Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City 4 here, bringing you guys more Meta 15 Ultimate Team, and today I'm bringing you guys game number four of season five. Now, before we get into more details about the gameplay, guys, I want to talk about my lineups just in case you guys missed out on it. My new pickups are Lance Briggs, Namda Kasa, I don't know how to say his first name, he's pretty weird, Sa or Sue, I don't give a damn, and uh, Cameron Wake, our defensive end, he's a new one, and also Tyron Smith and Bo Jackson, those were the pickups, just in case you guys missed out on the large quick sales, those are the new pickups. And if you guys want to see more details about them, you know, how, why did I pick them up and why did I choose them over other players, go back into the videos and watch those videos. So moving on to the gameplay guys, in this gameplay all I want to say is that Bo Jackson, I recommend to use him right now before it's January 1st. On New Year's Day, Bo Jackson will go from 90 overall to, to 80 overall, I believe that's what it says in the description of the card. And also, he's an OP card. He is OP. He breaks tackle like a freaking beast, man. I recommend to use him right now. If you guys don't have a high overall team and you don't have any running backs, use Bo Jackson. He is a beast. And build a line for him, you know. And you'll be doing just fine, just running the damn ball. So, uh, anyways, on defense, you know, pretty much my first drive here going around. Uh, if you guys remember my first three games, they pretty much scored real quick. Cameron Wake with his first sack of the season. Nice sack by Cameron Wake. He's not letting Michael Vick scramble. I could have picked it off right there with Antonio Cromartie, but again, you know, as you remember, guys, these cornerbacks are low overall cornerbacks. 83 overall, and the other one's 82 overall. So, yeah, I still need to upgrade those. And a nice sack by right there, guys. And by the way, before we get into more details, he went for two. So it's eight to zero. I couldn't stop on the two point conversion. I don't, want, I don't remember what he did. But, uh, but yeah, he went for two, eight to zero, nice passing right there. And also, before this game, guys, I was doing several challenges. Actually, when I was collecting for the large quick sales, I tried to develop more of my passing game, and it's kind of gonna show here in this game. You should be able to see some new routes going around here in my gameplays because uh, I kind of find out new routes, new running styles, and new uh, offensive linemen, you know, lineups. You know, it's just a bunch of new strategies that I'm putting into this game now. And um, my playbook is becoming bigger now. It's going to become a big playbook that, that has more, a lot of more selections on the, on the plays. So keep an eye out on my new uh, plays. And by the way, Tustin right here with Jason Morrow. And this is what I want to say about this. After that last play that I did on game number three, I'm going to try to do that more often because it's kind of glitchy, guys. I think it's kind of glitchy. The tight end just catches it over the, the, the linebacker. It's pretty glitchy. And by the way, another sack by Cameron Wake, his second sack in the game. And with uh, Jadavion Clowney, by the way, these two guys are a great tag team. They're speedsters, man. These guys are pass rushers. So I ended up backing off and he ended up punting the ball. Carol Patterson with a nice catch right there. One juke, two jukes, taking it all the way for a touchdown. 60 plus yards. Crazy jukes, crazy legs. Carol Patterson. I'm going to call him crazy legs from now on, man. He does have the jukes. Carol Patterson was a hell of a rising star, but. Pretty soon he's gonna get replaced, so enjoy his moment here in Cardo in, in uh, you know, Rampage, because Cardo Patterson for sure is not gonna be here next season. And another sack right there, and this time it's by Sir, a new pickup. Good response by my defensive lineman right there. They're doing beastie, man. They're nice. So far my defensive back coverage hasn't been any good, and Reed hasn't been. And right there, Sir missed a sack. He could have gone like a second second right away. This guy is pass rushing like an insane man. He's an insane guy. Nance Briggs. Tackle for the loss. Bull Jackson not getting any yards right there. Uh, trying to pass it down the middle and throws like a girl. What the hell, Michael Vick? 14 to 11. He ended up doing a field goal here running with Bull Jackson. Bull Jackson trying to fight for yards. He fights for yards, man. That's, I think that's an extra skill he has, but it doesn't say there in the description. As you can see, he's just trying to fight for a first down right there. Nice by Bull Jackson. I need more running backs like this. So I'm thinking of picking up Emmett Smith in the future. Bo Jackson taking it for almost 30 plus yards and he gets stopped by whoever number 33 is. I believe that's Mika Hyde. And another pass down the middle. Jason Morrow touchdown. He left that guy wide open. That was not a glitchy pass. So that was a legit pass. And Cameron Wake with the containment not letting Michael Vick roll out of course. I'm telling you guys these two defensive ends are just beasting it up out there. Jadamian Clowney and Cameron Wake are saving my team from now on. Lobs it down the middle. Eric Reed almost lets him wide open right there. Come on, Reed. I'm thinking of replacing that free safety, man. Whoever gave me the recommendation for Eric Reed, that was a bad pickup. He hasn't been doing any better than Micah Hyde. So, uh, so yeah, back in offense, 21 to 11. Bo Jackson just pulled a beast mode. You guys might want to rewind this part because it was just insane. How the hell did that happen? 
he had like two guys in front of him and bam he just breaks him apart and just takes it all the freaking way for 40 plus yards insane man that's insane it's by Bo Jackson I'm not sure if it's insane it's just a, it's a word but goddamn he's a maniac he is Bo Jackson so this game guys I want to give the MVP awards to Cameron Wake with his tag team partner Jadavion Clowney and Bo Jackson these two guys stood on this game you guys might want to go back into the gameplay and watch the whole thing again too, so you guys can see how these two guys took over the team. They're doing a hell of a job. Lance Briggs did do some things, so my new pickups were, are actually you know, reacting pretty well. And my left tackle with a nice block too. Tyron Smith was a, was a hell of a pickup and a hell of a steal. So that's it guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. You guys got any comments about this video or anything that part of the video? Let me know in the comment section. I would like to know. So that's it guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more MUT15.